this video, we are going to leverage the power of large language models to build our own ATS applicant tracking system, which will consider an applicant's profile, skills, experience, and education, and calculate a score to determine whether a person is a good fit for a job or not. It also addresses the missing keywords in your resume. So that will help you know those missing pieces that you can put in your resume to increase your chances of getting or landing that dream job. We will build this using Gemini Pro model and a Streamlet as a framework. An ATS or an applicant tracking system is a software application that helps employers manage their recruitment process efficiently. It allows organizations to collect, organize, and track applications and resumes, making it easy to screen and manage candidates during the hiring process. So it's mostly used by businesses and HR professionals to automate the hiring workflow. So let's look at the demo. So this is the application that we are going to build. And it, you're able to upload your resume. So this is a data scientist role resume that I've already uploaded. And this is where we are going to post or paste the job that we want to apply for. Okay, so let's look at an example. I'm gonna clean this up and I will go to the LinkedIn, so you can do LinkedIn, Indeed, whatever platform that you want to look at. So I'm going to go to this job description and I'm going to copy the job here. All right, so I'm going to copy. I'm going to say copy. I'm going to paste it here. Okay, so this is a data scientist role. And let's look at the match. So I'm going to say submit. So let's see how it's going to give an output. All right. So this is the ATS evaluation results. And the job description matches 75%. And the missing keywords are workload managers. They are looking for these experiences. The Ego workflow, the airflow, computer machine, related experience with touch vision or a ten TensorFlow object detection APIs, familiarity with the cloud platform. So it actually gives you those missing pieces that are out of your resume. And it's giving the candidate summary, which possesses a strong background in data science with expertise in data exploration, advanced analytics. All right. Okay, so it's saying that they are proficient in advanced technology like LMP. So these are highlights the experience of the applicant. So however, the candidate lacks experience in working with workload managers, computer vision, cloud platforms, AI machine learning tool set, and building data pipeline with Spark. And it goes on to give the next breakdown, say not a match. So this application actually gives you the job description, percentage rating, and it also gives you those missing keywords as compared to the job description, All right? And if that is not possible or you don't match, it's only say not a match. So I am going to show you how this works. Okay. All right. So it gives a rating a threshold that would determine if the person qualifies or not. All right, so this is an exciting project. So I'm gonna go through how this works. So you can as well go to Indeed and you can copy the job description here and you can paste it as well. Okay, so let me go to my VS code. So in here, we go to your requirement. All right, so let me just open a new terminal. And we are doing requirements. So we are going to need Streamlet, Py PDF2 for the PDF document, the Python.env to get our 
access to the model with the APIs and the docx2 text to connect or also to use our uh, doc files or web document and the launching Google Gen, Gen AI to connect to our model. All right, so the next thing is to, so we need to, if we want to install, so we have to install this package. So you go to pip install in your terminal, that's our requirement, txt. I already have those installed, so I don't have to txt. So when you hit enter, it should install all the packages required. So the next thing we want to do is go to our app pi. So I did it app1.py. Right, so I'm going to walk you through how this code works. So we're going to import Streamlit as SP. To create a framework, we import the Google.Gemini Generative AI as GenAI to connect to our model OS. We're going to need the doc x2 text. We're going to need the pi PDF2 to connect to the PDF. And we need the load.env to load our model or to load our connect to our API. That is the Google API key to connect to that. So we load it and we say load environment variable from the .env. So in here is the load.env. Okay, so in order to get your Google API key, we go to Google Maker, the makersu.google, google.com. And in here is you create API key in new project. When you click on that, it should create an API key for you. It's pretty straightforward. So you can copy that and you, you paste in here. All right, so let's go on. So when you load dot, do load, load dot EMV is going to load the API key automatically. All right, so we say we config the generative AI model with the Google API key. So we use the genai.config. We do API key is equal to the os.getEMV. So we are going to get the API key. So we set up the model configuration for text generation. So we are using, we create a variable called generation config and we pass the temperature to be zero. So if you want the output to change anytime you run, then you need to change this temperature. So I'll put it to zero for now. And the top P to be one, the top K to 32, you can change that. And the max output token to be 4096. So depending on your use case. So we define safety settings for the content generation. So this makes sure that every output we are getting is safe. Okay, so we are putting, we have a category and we are saying they, we are having the harassment, hate speech, sexually explicit, dangerous content. So this makes sure that the output is safe. So we call it set safety settings and we create a model. So we create a function and we say generate response from Germany. We input the text, right? So inside the function, we create the LLM and we call it the LLM and we pass the variables, the model name, that's the Gemini Pro. We pass the generation config that we've created up here. We pass it in, your safety settings is equal to the safety settings that we already created here. And we create an output and we pass the input into the generate content through the LLM. And we are going to return the output as a text. So the next thing is we read the PDF file all right, so the PDF file is extract text from PDF file and we do the upload file. We pass the upload file, create a variable called the PDF reader and we pass the uploaded file. So for each 
of the pages that we read, we are going to append that into the text doc, the text content. So we return the text content. And also, if the document is a Word document and we are going to read that using the return the doc x to text, right? So if they uploaded, we are in two fold phases, the PDF and the Word document. So we pass the prompt template, we call it input prompt template, and we are saying that we are passing this to the LLM, that's the Germany Pro model. We are saying as an experienced applicant tracking system analyst with profound knowledge in technology, software engineering, data science, data analyst, AI architect, AI engineering. So your role involves evaluating resumes against job descriptions. So you recognize the competitive job market. You provide top-notch assistance for res resume improvement. So your goal is to analyze the resume against the given top job description. You assign a percentage match based on the key criteria, and you pinpoint the missing keyword accurately. So we pass the text and the description. That's the job description. So we're saying, I want the response in one single string having a structure. All right, so now it's giving us the job description match, the percentage, and the key, the missing keywords, and the candidate summary. All right, so this is what we want to see. So you can improve that based on whatever criteria you want to put in here. So we now create a Streamlet application. We create a title, we say Intelligent ATS, enhance your resume. You Create a markdown to change the color to orange. All right, so on save allows go to true. So the job description, we create a paste the job description with a height of 300. So we create a variable uploaded file. We upload the resume. So it can be a text, it can be a PDF or a doc or web document. And we are saying, please upload a PDF or a doc file. All right, so now we create a submit button to submit the to submit the question. So we are saying if or to yeah to submit the information that we want to get the output. So if submit is true, so we have submit button, and if uploaded file is not none, we are looking at the PDF. So if the uploaded file type is a PDF. We use this function to, so this function will be executed, so resume text, and L if the uploaded file document is a Word format. If it is a Word format, a Word document, we are using this function to do that. And we want to, the response text, we want to pass this generate response from the Germany. We are passing that to get the answers that we need. So we do the pass the input prompt template, and we pass the resume text and the job description that we've already created. So the job description and the resume text. All right, so now we want to extract the job description match percentage from the response. So we want to get a percentage of the response so if the if the match is seventy five percent as compared to the job description, then we are going to scrap the percentage. So we say match percentage string, and that is the job response match. We extract the first index, so we want to only get the percentage. So remove the percentage symbol and convert that to a float. All right, so we convert that to a float. So we only want to get the percentage. And the subheader, so we say ATS evaluation results, and we write the response. And we display the message based on the job description match. So if the match percentage is 70, is greater or equal to 85, then we say move forward at hiring, as we say not a match. All right, this is pretty straightforward. We want to save that. And let me run it, and I'm going to say, let's 
and up and wind up by. All right, so I'm going to upload the resume. So I'm using this one. And let me go to this time, I'm going to Indeed. I'm seeing a job here. Okay, so I'm going to copy this. Copy this, and I'll go to my app. I'm going to paste it, Control B. So let's see how this works. I'm going to say submit. All right. So this time it's saying the job description match is 75%. And these are the missing keywords. S3, the Docker, orchestration tool, Airflow. And it's giving the candidate summary. Of the candidate, All right? Is it the uh, so while Ralph meets most of the requirements for the role, they lack experience with S3, Docker, orchestration to reach out desirable skills, so not a match, All right? So, guys, you can use this to improve your resume, and uh, you can also enhance this more further by putting in more functionality. So, let me know in the comment section how you feel about this. All right, so you can actually do that with the PDF or a doc file, all right? So it doesn't really matter. All right, so I hope you like this video. Don't forget to share and subscribe. See you in the next one.